Okay, so I'm going to start my day here. That means I'm going outside in the back in the shed. I have to gut the shed, people. When my son brought in a whole bunch of freaking wood into the garage, like it was tons and tons of tons of wood. Needless to say, the rats got into it. Where they were nesting in it, and then I don't know. They got into side on my inside the my seventh. huh? The seventh. Today's the seventh, so it's August seventh of twenty twenty four. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, they got into my shed. They must have chewed through something because I rat proof that when I made it, right? Ah, uh, something was living in there. I don't know. Andre went in there looking for it because it something died. He said he couldn't find it anyway. There was clear signs that something was living in there, so that kind of tells me it was going in and out, in and out, right, for the amount of mess that it made, because basically I have to gut the bloody, sh bloody thing today. And it needs to be sprayed down, and everything needs to be wiped out, and picked through, or what. Oh my God, these shoelaces are no good. This is how old these freaking shoes are oh I don't think these are gonna work <laughs> I just need something here and I don't know my eyes are getting worse I don't know I should be going for this eye surgery I almost feel like wanting to go like ASAP because I can feel the I can just feel it right it's goopy it's you know this one here I'm you know I think the lens is no good honestly I think the lens needs to be changed you know it's hot up here and I work too fucking hard and, oh, just I don't know like I did laundry last night the first load I did I had a little bit of bleach water in it and you know just whatever and as it was draining you know I was putting moisture into the air and my nose started to run and, it was just dripping, and I'm like, holy shit. So, you know, it's like, clearly I... <laughs> but I don't have a choice. I kind of have to do my laundry upstairs, people, because, you know, they've taken over the fucking laundry room, right? And with all the conflict and stuff, you know, Andre doesn't want to do his laundry down there because he's trying to avoid them to some degree or another, right? Just because... And, this is stupid. I don't even know if these boots are going to be good enough because they're not tight enough. We'll see. you got to have them kind of tight, right? Because otherwise you lose your footing. And So anyway, I can't get my eyes done just yet. I can't. I have nobody to help me with that. Nobody to watch the kids at this point. Can't ask Tisha. Fuck no. No. It'd just be... A power trip over something or another with a bunch of name calling in the end not worth it all right obviously can't depend on my son all right so I'm just gonna have to wait because there's only so much time to do yard work right and that's another thing you know like I have to I have to do this yard people and I, I have to work I have to spend a few two three weeks in the yard Especially with the sheds now, right? And then he moved my fabric rack, so we're going to go out there and we're going to see where I can put this fabric rack. And the fucking shed's going to take two days, maybe three, to get it completely done. And, and then, of course, you know, it's, well, when are you going to move that stuff? When are you going to move that stuff? Well, I don't know. I'm kind of fucking busy here, man. You know? I don't see you doing none of this shit, like, shut up already, go away, like, you people are making me literally fucking sick, like, seriously, people, they're making me sick, that's the fucking game, you know what I told Andre, you know what it feels like, I don't play computer games, okay, I never have, never, never, in all these years, I feel like I'm their victim, Marina and Mark Kane's victim, in a computer game where they attack to take that person out through the game you know 
right? One comes in here with tactic, another one comes over here with a tactic, and then they attack to take out their opponent. That's what I feel like, people. I feel like I'm in a fucking computer game with people that are out to take me out. Yeah. I don't know. Because it's just too vicious. Like, it's fucking vicious. So, of course, now I'm going to be outside working in the heat with my eyes going blinder and blinder every fucking day in terms of blurrier and, like, I looked at the plums this morning. I couldn't even see the fucking plums, the outline of the plums. It was just one big mosh posh of blurry something in a bowl. Like, seriously. <laughs> because of the stress people I don't care what this fucking doctor says he doesn't do what I fucking do in a day he doesn't have to deal with what I deal with like my head is woozy I'm dizzy you know like we bake up here right clearly doing laundry up here in the kitchen isn't good for me anymore I discovered that last night when I was washing because I had you know I had to bleach right because of Amari with you know blankets and shit, right, that he lays on, and I'm like, oh, well, why is my nose running like this, like, it just, ah, uh, yeah, and like, I kind of want to go for this eye surgery, because I can feel it, the harder I work, the more I do, the more it's gumping up, it's tightening up, it's like, it's just goopy, right, and this one's getting blurrier, it's just stupid. But I'm going to keep doing until I can't do anymore, okay? But of course, with me working outside in the shed, and I have to rearrange things and find places to put things that are being flushed out of the basement. So that means I have to get into Mr. Lace's cat house, which at one point, a few months ago, four or five months ago, Andre went in there to get something, and he said the raccoons were in there. So who knows what kind of state that's going to be. We know the grass is like two two miles long, and so I'm going to go look for a sharp fucking knife. I got a plan. I know exactly where I'm going to start. Andre, more than likely, I'm going to start it. And uh, he asked me if I'm going to work till dark. I said, well, we'll just wait and see. More than likely, by the time I come in, I'll be filthy and grimy because there's a few things I have to do as prep, right? Because I have to put those those racks somewhere, and I have an idea, but I have to measure the area. I'll show you. I have to measure it, and um, there's windows in there from back in the day when I brought home windows for the greenhouse. Andre wants to build his fort. He asked me if he could put windows in it. I said, yeah, you can put windows in it. As a matter of fact, I've got windows in frames, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, that you can use, right? This is terrible. So, so terrible, people. But, of course, I'm worried now about my stuff. Because I'm not downstairs doing what they want me to do, right? And those videos are gone. I asked my son about them. I told him I wanted to get underneath the steps pull out everything and see what's going on there because I'm looking for video. Well, I didn't say that first. He said, no, no, you don't. Don't do that. I said, why? He said, don't. I said, yeah, no, I need to because I want to see what you put in there. And maybe there's something in there that I don't want. I can take out and put something else in there instead. Uh, and then I was going, he says, well, is there anything else you want to say to me? I said, yeah, what happened to those videos? In the paper covers, in the paper covers, I don't know, I don't see them. I said, well, you know, what do you mean you didn't see them? I said, they were there, but you didn't put them outside. And when you put those children videos in the plas plastic covers outside, where, where did those other ones go to? I don't know. I said, are they underneath the steps? He said, no. That's over 400 classic videos gone. Our Scooby-Doo's, uh, most, 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 Andre, please, that's Nattery, I told you. I don't feel very well, I really don't. 
like seriously my ears are ringing like mad most 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 mate um most most oh, like musketeer mouse most mateers or something anyway <laughs> we had most of, huh the three, the three musketeers the three musketeers are gone all our scooby doos and we had a lot of them star trek star wars independence day encounter of the third kind all kinds of crazy crap. Shaka Zulu, Boys in the Hood, just whatever. Graveheart, Graveheart's gone. And he doesn't care, people. Well, I don't want to talk about it because if I do, I'm going to get mad. End of conversation, right, Mom? <laughs> so I'm going to work outside. I have to pick my battles, people. As long as I do that, I will just give them an opportunity to blindside me again. Because they'll get mad. They'll justify their bad behavior. Do what they want. Create another fucking pile. As the weather is starting to change. And things are just going to get ruined. Which makes me want to cry even before it fucking happens. Because I'm thinking about it, right? Because that's been the pattern, right? As I'm going blinder and blinder, faster and faster, as they're treating me like I'm some character in a game, in a computer game, and they're trying to take me out, as they're being vicious, vicious about it. And I don't even play computer games, people. I don't. But I know enough about these computer games that over the years, it fucked with my kids' heads. Clearly, Mark Kane's fucking retarded. You know? It changes people's personality. I don't like Andre playing a lot of these games. And even him, he gets cheeky with me. I've seen it before with my own kids, and now he thinks he can be cheeky with me. But yeah, I said to uh, Shelly, truly amazing, in a post, and honestly, I should, I should, I should, I should put it as my title for this video. He, they treat me like I'm dead. They treat me like I'm dead. What do people do when somebody around them dies? They go in, they look around, because poof, I'm gone, nothing moves except me, and everything else stays behind. So I'm gone, I'm dead now. In their minds, I'm dead. So they look around, and they think about what they want for themselves to keep, right? That's the first thing. They're looking for things that they want. Then, the second thought is, what can they sell to make money on? Something like maybe four... 400 videos with the original cases on that would be considered collector items to some people selling them all at one time you can make a fair bit of change that's what happened to my videos if they're not downstairs underneath the steps and clearly my son said they're not and he doesn't even want me to go looking for him and waste my time what does that say I took you out, Mom. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Don't, don't, don't press the matter, because if you do, I'm going to start hollering and screaming at you, and it might get ugly. Shut the fuck up, bitch. If that's not a fucking computer game trying to take me out, I don't know what is, but I'm dead. So that's what they do. They go, they take what they want first, then they figure out what they can sell and make money on. Uh-huh. And then everything else, they fucking trash. That's how they've been treating me, people. That's exactly how they've been fucking treating me.
So when my son comes to me and he's going to ask me something for something, sooner or later, sooner or later he's going to come and ask me for something. I'm going to look at him and I'm going to say, why? Why should I give you anything? You treat me like I'm fucking dead. You disrespect my, my belongings. You fuck with Mark Andres and my head all the time. You perpetually make us fucking depressed because we don't know what's going to go fucking missing. You're two-faced. Go away from me. Don't ask me for nothing. All right? Because you treat me like I'm fucking dead. So what does, what does it matter, really? Why are you asking when you're going to just go off and do what you fucking want anyway? Huh? Right? Why are you asking when I can't even work outside for a couple, two, three weeks as I struggle with my eyesight, people? I'm struggling. I'm struggling so fucking hard to just maintain, right? And through that whole process, I'm going to be worrying about my shit downstairs. It doesn't matter if it's food, books, fabric, fucking blinds. doesn't matter what it is. It just doesn't fucking matter anymore. Nope. Because they'll just take a big fucking whole bunch of shit and sell it at one time right underneath my fucking nose as if I was dead. That's what you do with dead people's shit. Mm -hmm. That's how you treat dead people's shit. So my son sees me as somebody that's dead. Mm -hmm. He treats me like I'm dead and he views me like I'm dead. So what does that tell you? Where did that come from, people? It came from that girl that's jealous and spiteful and wants to be in control, but hasn't earned that right. Doesn't do anything to, to earn that right. Anyway, we're gonna go out. I don't, I can't, I can't waste time. I'm really dizzy because of what's going on in my head, with my eyes. But at least I'm trying. I know nobody will do it except for me. So it has to be done. And, uh, yeah. Hey, I'm just going to talk about these Africans over here. I went there two nights ago because I had birthday beer, right? Remember I talked about it before? Sitting, you know, there in my hall, right, by the front door. I didn't want to put it out on the road because of kids, eh? You know, teenagers, whatever, right? I didn't think that was a good idea, right? So it sat there for months and months and months. Cause I'm out drinking it because I don't I can't afford to drink people I get tired right you know and so anyway I I finally decided now I've already mentioned to them you know Papa Riley wants the big jaw out you no know, he wants to do the park event he wants to do some hall parties right here I'll put this down here maybe like this this is before I go outside okay like I'm really not feeling that great. I'm really not. But I want you to hear how noisy they are. So anyway, they've been partying like crazy, right? And I thought, oh, maybe I'll go take that beer. See, you know, let them know that it's like something like four years old been sitting in a can. <laughs> I'll give you six old beer for one fresh cold beer, right? I feel like having beer tonight, being that you guys have been partying for weeks. <laughs> On the day Rhea came with her kids, she drives up, Rhea's out here, right, with her friends, the cops are everywhere, flashing lights, just, it's funny, right? Anyway, I go over there, I have enough time, just want you to hear them chatting away. It's kind of noisy out here right now, though. They're just gearing up. Anyway, I go over there. Everything's fine. As soon as I said I got some beer here, you know, it's old though. Everybody wanted it. 
that was there. It was just a bunch of mainly African men sitting in one spot. Apparently the women were up in the dark somewhere, but I didn't go there because it was too fucking dark. I couldn't see a damn thing. There was one African woman sitting in the group where I was. And uh, so I got my one cold beer. That was great, right? Turns out the majority of them are all from Uganda, up from the Kampala area. I said, you gotta be kidding me because like, you know, I'm helping Mama Peter and she's not far from Kampala, right? With little Peter, right? Yeah, so they're all from basically Uganda, up in the Kampala area where little Peter is, with a few Condoleez in there. Okay. Long story short, I ended up having two and a half beer. Got kind of, by the second beer, you know, <laughs> was definitely getting tipsy because I don't drink. I brought my Uganda flag over. I came back home, I got my Uganda flag once I found out they were all from Uganda. So everybody was all happy with that. The flag ended up going missing. So the fellow who runs that place, like who, 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 who rents it, who is, who, who's, belongs to in terms of like, this is my house, that's his house. He's on the hunt for the flag. I told him, when, well, when you find it, you know, just hang, because I went back the next day. I said, just hang it up, or keep it for a while. And so the people feel connected, right? Being that you're all, you know, pretty much from the same country, right? Same, same local area, whatever. And, you know, at some point you can give it back to me, but nobody knows where it is right now. And then I ended up coming home grabbing my camera towards the end of it. And I was just kind of recording, but I wasn't like, it was dark. We were sitting in the dark outside, right, basically. And just, just the chitter chatter, you know, just, you know, it was, it was like everything was really, really good. And, you know, everybody was chatty and happy for the most part and you know I was cracking jokes Rosemary was cracking jokes other people were cracking jokes I was saying oh this is a great video right you know how I mean how close can you get to Uganda then right across the street like come on people right considering what I've been doing for Mama Peter and her children right and then all of a sudden out of the blue I don't know, some woman sitting over there came out of the dark, moved her ass somewhere and just started beaking off on me. Ah, you need to delete that video. Then, then get the fuck out of here. I'm going to fuck you up. And I'm like, holy fucking shit. It's not a, what you're thinking here. Like, calm down, right? Anyway, I ended up deleting it. I let Mary watch me do it just so that, you know, like, back the fuck off. I'm out of here. And I was getting, like, I was getting pie-eyed by that time because I don't drink. So, but I went back the next day. Right? One guy said, oh, the women get jealous. <laughs> That's what it is. And I'm like, well. <laughs> and then I met another woman over there. She asked me how old I was. I told her I was 62. She goes, oh, really? Oh, my God, I didn't know that. You're my elder. And then her whole demure changed. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not your elder, but thanks anyway, in terms of, like, it, you know. <laughs> so anyway, whether we do hall parties with them or not remains to be seen because I'm losing my eyesight really fucking fast here. I got some serious shit I have to do out here in the yard, not to mention what I got to do on the inside of the house. I don't know if I'm going to survive it. I really don't, people. Honestly, I should be going for that eye surgery late. ASAP. Yeah. But I can't. I can't. I, because once I go for the eye surgery, that's fucking... I'm out a month. Because, right? It hurts, right? And you can't strain yourself. can't be afraid to face the future, whatever that future is.
my heart's in the right spot. I just don't know if I'm going to make it because even sitting, what, what I've been noticing with my eyes, and this never happened to me before, I get waves of blurriness. I noticed it when I was peeling those apples. All of a sudden, my eyes just kind of went, was going like this. Oh, and I'm like, holy fucking shit. I just felt it again. Because it's the stress in my head, right? And I'm doing things that I technically shouldn't be doing because I'm overworking, that's what's happening here. But I'm stubborn. I'm convincing myself that I'll get through it if I can just hang in there for another month or two, play the little catch up that I, whatever I have to catch up on as it's thrown in my face. And, uh, can you hear? <sighs> it's not even evening yet. They're just gearing up for tonight. Well, anyway. Yeah, I just like, you know, I, I'm looking at something. I'm looking at something, like everything's blurry. I honestly do believe this, this cataract lens is damaged. I think it needs to be changed. I do. I think we should do the rotor rooter on this one to try and relieve the pressure because it's off the roof. I can feel it. And uh, because as it is right now, I'll be sitting here looking at something. Then I turn and I look at something else. And then all of a sudden, because my eyes aren't adjusting, Right, because everything's already blurry and getting blurrier. It just goes, and I, then I get a wave. And that's how I'm working, okay? That's how I'm working, people. And the harder I work, over and over and over and over and over and over again, I don't know, the faster this is de deteriorating, and this is why I say my son's got me in some sick computer game with his wife, and they're trying to take me out and win the game. I don't know how to explain it any other way, and you know those games are pretty fucking nasty with how they're gonna, you know, take out their opponents, right? And they do, they treat me like I'm dead. They treat my belongings like I'm already dead. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking about now. Every day, all day. Yeah. You can't say that doesn't play on my brain with that cortisol, right? It does. Because I'm trying so desperately hard to try and understand what the fuck is going on here. Because my son never used to be like this. I mean, I'm not saying he was perfect and didn't have his little moods every now and then, but he was a much better person. Even Andre said he was happier and nicer and <clears throat> just a better person all in all before this girl fucking showed up. Yeah. That says a lot, people. So you see that? I turn my eyes. I'm looking at the light. Do you see it's lighter over there? I'm looking, it takes me a while to try and adjust what little I can see. Then when I turn my eye, and now it's darker, right? Because, you know, you've got the sun over there, you've got dark over here, shade. My eyes aren't adjusting to it. They're just not adjusting to it, people. So I don't know, I don't know what that means. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to hold up for. So if my videos stop, slow down, whatever, it's because of my eyes.
because I'm being taken out and I'm not getting no help. And that's the, that's the name of the game. Don't help mom, make it worse, make it harder, make it more stressful so they can speed up the fucking pro process to take over my life, my house, my belongings, everything. I treat me like I'm dead. So no feeling for myself, sorry for myself. So we're gonna go look at this shed and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do today. See, yesterday, last night when I was doing laundry, I could see these things in terms of individually. Now it's all blurred pretty much together. I can barely see them. Like they're like, you don't even know. Okay. As fast as I pull this morning glory, if you notice, it grew back. This is what I mean. I can't do this anymore, people, because first of all, I can barely fucking see the stupid shit. The only reason I know what it is is because I've been doing this for so many years that I just can't do it anymore. That that in there is uh, lavender. Look at this. That's what I mean. I, I can't do this anymore. I'm not going to be able to do this next year. And ain't nobody going to do it. But yet they're going to treat my shit like it belongs to them. How, how does that fucking work? Treat me like fucking shit. Yeah, okay. Right. Like, this is bad. Like, I'm so wanting to call up my eye specialist and go in for an emergency appointment just for him to look and see what the fuck is going on in terms of this blurry crap. And he'll probably tell me that <clears throat> my lens looks like a moon in terms of pockmarks in it. For as blurry as it is, because you know, you see this? Now I just did this a month ago. Okay, that's how fast this shit, fucking morning glory goes. Anyway, I told Andre I'll give him a hundred dollars and his friend a hundred dollars to help me with this shit, but we can't really depend on Jude and Jude. Andre says, "Oh well, if I work." More than Jude, I get it all. I said, yeah, you do, Andre. See, I have to get in there. So basically what I gotta do, I told Andre, see, stuff like this, I put in, 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 I make dirt with it, right? That goes way over there into the compost. So. See, this is what happens when things are stored outside. I don't want that. Somebody else can have that. That's a air purifier. I don't like air purifiers in the house. I really don't. Andre started to pull things out. This is going to be a big fucking job, people. You don't even know. Blind as a bat. Dizzy. Because my eyes aren't adjusting. Right? I've got high, high pressure... Oh my god, I already lost a freaking flashlight. Can you believe that? Like how? Here it is. Eye pressure, 39. Last time I went to the eye doctor, it was 39 in my left eye. He wanted to do surgery within two weeks. I said no, I couldn't. And it's a good thing that I didn't because on the way home from the eye doctor, Tisha started with her fucking crap. And I haven't basically talked to her since then. Yeah. Okay. This is what I gotta do. Oh, this thing isn't even working. Oh, I need this freaking flashlight. Oh my God. Well, at least it doesn't smell like a dead rat no more. So we got rid of that problem. Because there was one out here. But for some reason it smelled like a dead rat in here. So I had Andre come in here and start pulling things out. I got a light. To see if we could locate it. This is the one shed that stays dry. I'm so proud of this shed. I did a really good job on this. I put rocks on the bottom of my subfloor to prevent rats from living underneath the floor. But every now and then they get in with the doors open. I guess they, when the doors open, when we're out and about in the yard, I guess they, well, want to happen. One time it happened. 
they get in and uh, you know you close the door and then you lock the door and then they can't get out oh he told me this worked it's not working here we go as if as if it does any good for me it doesn't I can't fucking see in here can you see in here I can't see it's always been dark that's why I need that silver flashlight oh Andre's gonna have to plug it in for me Andre maybe get the other flashlight Andre I don't even know where I put it it smells pissy in here because something was living in here which tells me it was going in and out so now I have to find out how the fuck that was happening before I put everything back after I take everything out to clean it like I don't I, I just don't have the energy for this anymore people I just don't Andre did I put that flashlight and because I can't see do you see you see what I just did I lost the freaking flashlight I put it down my brain's not working correctly right now because it's struggling to see I'm so fucking stressed out I want to cry right this is perlite for uh, planting stuff it's a good thing that bag didn't get ripped open from what I can tell where the hell did I put the flashlight? Andre! Oh my god. What a great day I'm gonna freaking have, man. Oh my lord. I fucking lost it. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, I don't know where to put this. Because, you know, I can't fucking see shit in here. I'm blind as a bat, people. Like, seriously, this, 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 uh... I kind of see my shadow of my face. This is the light. Where can I put this where it won't fall? I'm not really working there, but... It should be okay. Even with light, I can't see. Now, this is where... I myself can't be afraid because I don't know if my son put out rat poison because when he brought in that wood and left that wood in the garage needless to say it was a haven for rats <sighs> just whatever over the years rats are everywhere anyway they got something got in here and I don't know I don't think it died in here. I think it died on the outside. But something was living here. Because normally when you give rats poison, right? Why can I hang this thing? When you give rats poison, they get thirsty. Right? That's what happens. They get thirsty and then they come out of their den. Or whatever it is. And, uh... Oh my lord. looking for water and then they die right and hopefully they don't if you got them in the house hopefully they don't die inside the house how many times do I have to do this with Christmas shit like whatever 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 so anyway I'm trying to tell myself don't get all paranoid because there's rat shit in here but I can't see it I can't see shit. I can kind of see the box. Don't ask me what was in it. But anyway, it's going on. I can't, I can't see rat shit. Andre said it's, there's rat shit in here. <laughs> and I'm trying not to breathe, but obviously I gotta fucking breathe, right? Um, like, maybe I'll see if I can change a couple of these things on my stove. The old ones, maybe. There's some old burners there. I keep them around, right? <sighs> I bought some, but I don't know where they are. So, I'm, needless to say, I'm kind of like a little nervous doing this because I got my nose to the ground, right? I, I don't know. I can't see what I'm doing. I have a coffee here. Technically, I shouldn't probably have it here because I'm spewing up dust. 
but it's over there. If I die from rat poisoning, dust, <laughs> well, we know what I die from. Right. This, this house is just a fucking death house. I'm serious. What is this? I can't even see. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's full, whatever it is. Care. Care. I think it's kerosene. Oh, that's kerosene. It needs to go inside. I'm not gonna put it in the sun right now, though. I can't, I can't, I'm not gonna, I just, I just know I can't keep doing this. I just can't fucking keep doing this. Mm -mm. Like all this shit needs to be washed again. This is reflectors. That's stupid. I don't know what this is. It's an angel. It's Christmas. Yeah. So I'm going to have to move anyway because I'm not going to, I'm not getting no help with this crap. I'm not. It's getting to the point where it's just stupid. All right. Now there's a toolbox here of some kind. I'm looking for my broom. I'm not sure what that is. I keep these things because you just never know, but... I won't be using them anymore. I might be able to still use a few screws along the way and some nails, but that's about all. So I have a broom, a dustpan here. See, that's a spike for a tarp or something. Where am I? All right, you want to keep those things. I have to wash everything because I don't know. Yeah, there's fucking rat shit. I can feel it. Like, this is stupid. Like, this is fucking stupid. I mean, it's not so bad when you can see. It's not the first time I've had to clean this out. I only had a rat in here in all the years I've, since I built it. I've only had one rat get in here, and it got, got in when the door was open, when we were working in the yard or whatever it was. And, uh, look, it got locked in. And it died. Eventually it just died. It had nothing to eat. That's what it was. It had nothing to eat. Now these floor boards don't look like they're that great. Well, I, as if I can see. I can't see. Yeah, this is like pathetic. Like you don't even know. I think I I think they they chewed in through the wall somewhere. And got in. I do. Because it's too crummy. So they've been chewing and getting in. So it's like I have to cut the whole fucking thing. I don't know. Rat proof it. I have to fucking rat proof it again. I can't see people. Otherwise, this shed's gonna be useless. What I'm doing is useless. As fast as I clean it up, the buggers will move back in. Ah. Back in. It's only in the system. <coughs> Needless to say, I'm not a happy camper. I'm just trying to make a path before I start pulling out more shit. I'm pulling out some shit. I don't know. I can't really tell what the shit is. I don't know what's important what's not important anymore. Alright. I don't know what that's for. Where am I? What do you think that would be for? Who fucking knows? So, anyway. So, I'm working, I'm working in the greenhouse as well. I'm clearing off that shelf. Because it is, it is busting up the, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, the frame. So I got it half empty. So I have to work outside because if I don't get that green thing out and reinforce that wall, 
that greenhouse is going to come tumbling down. So there you go. I have to do greenhouse repairs. Now, I'm pretty sure if I get it all cleared out, my son will probably help me with that. If I make it easy peasy for him to get in and do what he needs to do, otherwise I'll have to do it on me. And this is where I'm not trying to get freaked out in terms of uh, this dust. It's not the dust or whatever. It's, I'm just wondering if these rats got de-ratted, you know, got poisoned, right? Because then what happens is they're... Uh, Their urine and feces become poisonous as well. So that's why when you buy, um, what do you call it? Pop cans. When you go to the store and you buy pop, right? Technically, you're supposed to rinse the lid before you pull the tab. Because in the warehouses where they have these pop cans, rats run around on them. And sometimes they pee and do all that good stuff. And then... It, you know, the company de-ratted their environment. There could be rat poison on the lid. And you don't wash it. You open it. You start sucking on it. It could potentially be a big problem. You know, I ain't sucking on anything here. But I am breathing in this dust because my nose is running. Right? That's what I mean. Like... I don't I'm tired of all this. I can't I can't deal with it much longer. I, this will be the last year I do this. Last fucking year I do this one. I can barely see as it is. And then within a week my eyesight will be even worse. Because this makes my eye pressure just skyrocket. It really does. No. Okay. So I'm just getting it ready for the big job to take everything out. I swear everything has to come out to find out how these little bastards got in here. Yeah. And it's not all happening in one day. Fuck no. didn't seem like it got up on my shelf up there. I felt. I didn't feel anything. It appears just to be, uh, it was running around on the ground mostly it seems. Not sure where its nest was, but uh, yeah, no, I need to, I think I need to take this coffee out of here. Or at least put it up there. I don't know. This is where you want to run away from your problems. All this house produced was a whole bunch of broken fucking dreams. Serious. In so many ways. Yeah. I might have to pull out this thing. I might have to pull out this thing. <clears throat> because maybe it got in from behind and came out from underneath. Or maybe it got chewed in through the wall in the corner. Who knows how these bloody things got in here. Okay, so do you see this? That is uh, obviously a super duper power box. Sure, like running Christmas lights and whatever and whatever. 
and then I'm thinking to give that to my son because I don't know he's doing something in the garage but he needs to have somebody check that first make sure it's in working good order uh, and then like this stuff is like these are weights and shit right when you're building and you need to fucking use this kind of stupid shit right like these things are expensive to buy brand new but as if okay so I think I found a a weak spot. It's in this corner. Right there. I don't know if you can see it. Right there in that corner. I can stick my hand in there. That's all it takes, people. Mm -hmm. So that means I have to take that out. That is just stuff for the pond. And hosing for the yard. So that's easy enough to take out. This one's going to be a little bit of a chore. What's inside of these drawers? Oh, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's heavy. Oh, my God. But I'm proud of myself because this one stayed dry. And I only had one rat in all the years I've made it outside of what's happening right now. As you can see, everything's nice and dry. Look at that. What is this? Look at this. You know, look at this. You know, these things are important. You can, look, look, that's not even rusting. Nice. I don't know what else is in here because I can't really see it anymore. All right, this is a level. I just pulled out some other levels, you know. Here's another, right, another one of those things, right, for cutting wood and drawing angles and stuff. Okay, so we know what you gotta do. I gotta pull this shit out. I don't know. Okay, so I gotta go back outside and make a better room. I've been working kind of a little bit here, a little bit there, right? I don't expect to get it all done in one day. Oh, hell no, this is where I'm panicking <coughs> with the downstairs, right? Because, you know, this is gonna take fucking weeks to do between this, doing it properly. Obviously, I have to pull everything out and I have to check all the corners and run wood around the corners, get Andre to run the wood and so that, you know, we don't get another rat in it because it's just the way it is. And uh, I got to move the rack someplace and I have to move that shelf out of the greenhouse before the greenhouse comes tumbling down. I got to pick up all this crap in the yard. Like, fuck, man. I'm, I'm a, and it makes me a sitting duck. It makes me a fucking sitting duck. Yeah, to have my stuff pillaged inside while I'm working on the outside. This is all nice and dry. I'm so proud of myself. So proud of myself. I don't think the rat was up in there because it's pretty, pretty, uh... But when the time comes, it's easy enough to bring everything down, wipe it down, give it a good spray. Well, no, I can't because I got things in these drawers. What's in this drawer? I don't know. Nothing I need anymore. Just miscellaneous things for when you do work in the yard. I don't know. Rope. Just whatever. There's more of those yellow things. I don't know. Skill blades. My son's using skill saws right now. Here's some blades. There you go. Okay, I gave him two extra fucking skill saws. Do you think I'd get a thank you for that? No. He's got all my three skill saws. My fucking skill saws. Three of them. And there's some blades. I'm not pulling them out right now. I'll, well, gut it out first. I told him, you need nails, whatever, just like, you know, there's everything. There's lots, lots of things around here. He said no. I'm, I'm trying to feel. Yeah, there was a little bit. So yeah, that's all going to have to come down. But I can't spray up there. I just have to take everything out. Brush it off. Wipe it down with the bleach and water. Take a rag. Wipe all these. Right? You can see how I've done it over the years. Right? I like it like that. It goes all the way down. And then put everything back. Don't ask me what's in there. I don't remember. I 
Like seriously, man. If this isn't a sad day, I don't know what is. Okay, what was in there that was so important? Nothing. Fuck, man. Okay, think strategy, right? Think strategy. Don't, don't get depressed. Where did I put my coffee? It's up there. Don't get depressed. Life is one big tornado mixed in with a hurricane and a whole bunch of fucking crazy monkeys. <laughs> the closer you get to death, the more you wish to live. That's usually how it works. Not that I'm wishing for death, because I'm not, people. I just don't like going blind and being put in a very vulnerable position and seeing my life just disappear before my eyes as I clean it up and make it nice for somebody else to pillage and not appreciate the effort that I put in all these years to even be in this position. Yeah. And it's like that everywhere I go. It doesn't matter if it's canning, obviously sewing. I can't fucking see. I can see that something's green growing in my greenhouse. But it's not like I'm, I can really see much of anything when it comes to quote-unquote tomato plants. You know. Anyway. I'm going to have one more smoke and then I'm going to get outside under the sun. I suppose. I have to clear out more room here. So I'm going to get underneath maybe the stairs and make room to bring this stuff out. <coughs> just put it underneath. Some of this stuff can just go underneath the stairs like this. This is uh, hoses to run in your garden so that you can set up a system like a like a ir irrigation system so that you just turn on the tap and the water runs from hose and into, you know, it's, water's everything, right? There's stuff there for the pond, the lining, everything. I have everything I need for the pond, but as if I would gonna be doing that. And then I gotta get this blue thing out. But what I'll do is I'll work around the blue thing, and that blue thing with the drawers will come out last. Andre can help me with that. And then over here, I have to take out what is whatever is over here as well. And I've got containers with junk in it. So what the junk is. I don't know. But everything's dry. And if it's in a drawer or something, it's in good shape. <laughs> so, no matter what, for a woman, I'm pretty damn proud of myself with this little shed. Now the other side, that one leaks like a sieve. That's a totally different story. And a totally different day. <laughs> so I'm going to go get myself a smoke. And have a smoke. And I'm going to come in here, well, no, first I'm going to move this somehow, some way, to make room for this stupid shit. Do you see how hard this is? My God. Okay, so I'm now up by my, uh, <laughs> what is it called? My cold room that I made with, Marquine did help me with the, putting cement at the bottom of it. Now I, I don't know, it used to be closed. I put foam in here, but I'm going to take it out and check it out because yeah, it's no good now. It's been in there too long and I think something or somebody, somebody opened it and it's been open ever since. So whatever, I'm gonna, there's water in there, so I got some jugs here. Nothing, nothing major, but I'm smelling, um, I, I get, it's like a turpentine. I can smell it. So there's a can of paint or a can of something. Something is here. I can smell it, but I can't see it. So anyway, in this corner now. I don't know what's in here. I have no fucking clue. Yeah, more elements. I like to keep these things because... You know, they go on you, right? So 
So I'm going to put these elements in a different box. I'm going to go through these. I'm going to I'm sweep. I'm getting grimy, people. This battery is probably going to burn out here pretty soon. Yeah, these are all elements and stuff, so I'm going to keep these elements. Yeah. I'm going to get a box and put them in a box. More stove parts. Uh, I don't know what this is. Yeah, stove parts. So upstairs, downstairs, more stove parts. Okay. So we'll just put those all back. Now, in terms of my element, oh, there's a hornet's nest up there in the bird bird feeder. <laughs> Andre seen it. So oh. I have to be careful. I don't stumble upon one. So anyway. I'm cleaning out this corner first. But I smell like a turpentine or something. I smell something. I don't know where it is. Oh, we don't need this cardboard box in here. We don't want to get pierced. Oh god, something's going to explode here. I got a container with water in it. And I guess the water is heating up or something. Because <laughs> oh. I put water in here, right? I'm the only one that thinks about that stuff in case something bad happens. Okay. Now I'm smelling turkey colors. Okay, we don't need that. Whatever I was doing, we don't need it. I'm going make car, uh, make car. What is that called? Dirt. Oh, here's some sexy glass or something. No, oh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's not sexy glass. You know, you have to remember two people. I was a poor woman when I moved into this house, and I just couldn't afford to go off and buy new material to build things with. Right. So, with that said, I think that's where my son is different because he makes good money, right? So, for him it's nothing. Yeah, definitely smelling turpentine or something. You don't want to throw, where am I? You don't want to throw stuff like this out, right? Because that goes into the ground, something goes inside of it, right? I don't want to buy, that's the thing. I don't want to buy shit. That's why I get mad with that stuff being thrown out because, well, not that I would be buying, I mean, these are parts to something. Not that I'm going to be buying anything anymore anyway, because I'm not, when it comes to this crap, it's either use up what I have, and move on. Yeah, because I'm not going to take the heat for when I can't do this no more. <coughs> and, uh, I know that that kerosene that I just, uh, found, I should go find it. Hold on a minute, because I'm smelling. Okay, that wasn't it. Nope, that was fine. So I don't know. I don't think it's my B.O. <laughs> right? No, I don't think so. And now we're brushing out spiders. Shit. 
one good at deep. One year, I had hornets get underneath the, because I laid down uh, pallets here to make a makeshift floor, right? Oh, nothing fancy. And, uh, anyway. Because it was just one big mud pit when I moved in. With a bunch of fucking weeds all over the place. Raccoon shit, that's all it was. It was disgusting. Anyway. Some of these things were here. It looks like these ones were maybe here or maybe I laid them out. I don't know. All I know is the raccoons got underneath. <laughs> into the ground. And boy, that was hard to get rid of. I had to drown them out. Yeah. That's probably my biggest fear out here. It's not rat shit. It's not mold. It's not fucking algae. It's none of that crap. It's freaking hornets. And Andre is so bad, man. He just tosses everything around. Oh, kind of like my son. Trashy that way. I don't know what it is with boys. They just... Just throw things around all the fucking time. Yeah. That is recording, right? I don't know. I can't see. I can't see if it's red. That's how bad my eyes are. Oh, Marty, Marty. Oh, I don't know. Maybe if I turn it on and off. Oh, I think it's recording. Yeah, it was recording. <laughs> Turning it on and off confirmed it. <laughs> okay. I'm cleaning. When are you going to come downstairs and move that stuff? Well, I don't fucking know. I'm cleaning for the last time in this yard. That's it. I'm done. After this, I can't do it no more. I do not think I will be able to see next year. So you better fucking prepare yourself to get out in the yard and do something. Otherwise, the city's going to be called on you. And you will get an eviction notice. Yeah. Yeah. Can't blame me for it if I can't fucking see. That's the way it's going to go down, right? So I'm just kind of getting rid of a few things build up the compost boxes, do what I can to, until it fall, until I can't do no more. And that's it. I don't think I'm going to be doing too much after this. No. No fucking way. What I need to do is not have regrets. And obviously I wasted my time. Especially when you go blind at the end of the game and you can't fucking enjoy what you did. <laughs> Never mind keep up with it. Alright, you know what I'm saying? Nice curtain rod, might need that. Maybe we'll keep that for sure, you never know. Who else is in here? Wires. Oh, Lord. I'll be lucky to be able to plant something next year. Okay, I don't know. Oh my god. Nice pieces of wood in here for something. They can just stay there for now. I'm just sweeping things out. And... Oh my god. And then what happens is the raccoons get in here. Or something gets in here. And then they... Ouch. They start moving shit around, like knocking things down, right? which is annoying. So we'll leave those there. And he wants windows in it. So we still got a few things kicking around. I like to keep these things to put screws and nails and that kind of stuff in it, right? Only I can't see what's inside anymore. 
I can hear it, but I can't fucking see it. All right. Oh, man. This is stupid, man. So fucking stupid. Oh, so stupid. But you just pace yourself through it. I like to keep stuff like this frame here. It's curved, right? And it's metal. So that you can use it as a base for like when you're working on uh just put these on this side maybe. Oh my lord. Nothing's working in here, people. Huh! There's a certain kind of spider that likes to be in here. It's not a daddy long leg, but it's almost like a daddy long leg. As far as I know, they're pretty harmless. I've been around them for years. I don't necessarily like them because there's like usually so many of them. <laughs> and because they're not really a daddy long leg, I'm not sure if they bite. I don't think they do, but... I don't know why that's like that. Obviously, that was that fell off. If I'm doing, I might as well just keep doing, right? Go through it all. I have, it has to be swept out anyway, right? You want to check for shit. Now, <coughs> this could be dangerous. There could be raccoons in there for all I know. Yeah. Uh, something's been chewing in it, you can see. You gotta scare them, make them growl. They're scary girls. Yeah, I don't like their girls. Somebody, this was closed, somebody, I don't know poking around down here looking to see what they could find which wasn't much I don't think and then they left it open and then you can see what happened <laughs> right so oh my god oh, almost lost the camera there's something buzzing people and I can't get away fast enough did you hear it I heard it. Oh man. God forbid if I get stung. Fuck. Oh. This stupid shit's all wound up in my fucking shoe now. Can you hear them? They're getting mad. Those fucking hornets. Oh my god. This is my last year doing this stupid shit. I'm serious. Huh. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Slippy. <laughs> There's a hornet, I think, in there. Andre was saying. <laughs> Let him everywhere. Oh, my Lord. <sighs> I'm going to go have Andre plug this thing in. I hope there's no hornet's nest in there. I heard it. I heard something flying. That's what happens. I just stumble upon them, and because I can't see them. If they're in the ground, oh my god, you're toast. They fucking chase you. And they don't chase you just a couple of feet. They'll chase you, like, for a block, if they can. Oh, yeah. And by the time you get to wherever you think you're going, it's like 15 wasps stings later. And by then, you're hooped. Two times that happened to me. One time... When I went to go get that bucket in the field, that was a that was a really bad one. And then there was another time over there. And back in the day when I moved in here. I was scrounging around looking for shit to bring to the yard to try and get rid of the mud, weeds, and raccoon shit. And I stumbled upon a nest that was kind of like in a ditch. Yeah. 
I only got a few stings on that one though. I managed to get away fast enough. But now I'm scared because I heard something down there. So, what I need to do is clear out what I pulled out, make a path, so that when I go back in there, when I go back in there, I can uh, bolt as fast as I can to get away if I hear them because I can't see them, that's for sure. Yeah. So I'm basically confined out here for the next three to four weeks, which is going to set me up to who knows what's going to happen downstairs, people. <coughs> I have to do this. It's a fucking nightmare out here. <coughs> and once it starts to rain, oh my god. Anyway, let me calm down for a minute.